All right, it's uh, time to start setting some traps for some lynx and some marten. Season is now open. Uh, we just built uh, a little and a lean-to cubby, I guess you could call it. It's the first time I've tried one this style. <clears throat> There's our bait in the back. Again, a lynx head's going to be about this high off the ground. You want them looking right through that trap. Got a little um, chin lift there so they don't uh, try and go underneath or stick their paw. I might stick a couple more little ones just so they don't stick their paw in there. But try and pick a spot where the bait's up a little bit higher so that they're looking straight at it and will stick their head right in there. Okay. <clears throat> Got my supervisor here. Gotta fence this off a bit. We got some bears out. They, they may come in here and knock this, rip it apart. If Lynx comes by, they will not go through this. Wolf might. They will avoid the trap. I want them to see. I want the lynx to see through here, but not stick their head through this. They don't like getting caught, their fur caught in. We don't have to make it too thick. Little critters are gonna get in. Squirrels, Martin, just fine. They'll nibble on bait. It's nice building these this time of the year because ground is soft. Poke everything in once it freezes. Different story. Just gotta also cover the front top just to make sure they don't jump over it. Something like that is nice because it's easy to see through but thick enough that they're not going to jump. We got birds in here, which I'd rather the birds come in through the top and go at it instead of landing in here and walking through. Disguise this a little bit. Okay, I often overbuild these, make them too thick. And then I don't get anything coming in. So there's our view from the links. You always want to put it up high, so that's nice. That was that piece of wood was here, so just use that. We should wire that bait to the back just to secure it so something doesn't carry it off, but Fill in some gaps here, but I think that looks pretty good. This side looks really good. So, again, the lynx is down here. They're going to circle around. They're going to see that. They're probably not going to stick their head through. They'll just walk around, walk around. You're going to see this nice opening. Looks pretty obvious. Stick their head through there. I'm just going to maybe cover up this one. Hang a CD. Lynx are super curious, so just an attractor. If they're walking by and they see that hanging and shining or whatever, they'll come check it out if they don't smell the bait. We'll see. So after getting out to the truck, 
I think I forgot to take the safeties off and I know I didn't wire it because I didn't have any wire with me. So let's uh, just walk back in here. Chuck. What did I do? Okay. So yes, the safeties are still on. And well, there was wire on it, but I didn't wire it to anything. So that would have been a waste. Get these safeties off. Okay, and uh, we'll wire it up, but you don't need to see that. All right, just uh, had a full elementary class out here on the trap line, just sent them back on the bus. But I've got a few snares down the road that I wanted to check. Um, try not to bring in classes or big groups of kids to check the snares, but it's also uh, 7K away from where we had our camp with the students. Um, Anyways, we'll just take a look in here. Set these snares a few weeks ago. And uh, didn't throw much out for bait, but a few pieces. A bit of link spot there that I need to set today. Uh, had an old snare. This is one of the first wolves I caught was in here. I was able to reuse the snare. It doesn't disguise very well but disguised well enough to get our first coyote of the year, little guy. Okay, we've got another snare right through there. I think we've got another snare over here. Yeah. This one's pretty high. All right, well, I was not really anticipating, well, definitely not in this snare, it was just hanging right off of this tree my wire uh, I mean, it was an obvious path but it was kind of a kinked up snare that was not really well disguised but well enough for that guy cool first yote of the season <clears throat> there's some rabbit tracks we hear a squirrel Trap does not look set off. That's yep, that's a CD just to attract the lynx. And their bait's still in there. Okay. So this got raided, I think, by a fisher yesterday last or two days ago in the evening there's our game cam over there so nothing okay well we'll go back out we got one more to check before we go down a different road All right. What's like? so that just is uh just a shiny and if a lynx is walking through the bush and they see that they're going to come check it out because they're That's curious and uh and so they may not smell the meat if it's really cold out so you need shiny well that just gets them over here and all of a sudden they're checking it out and then if they see the that cubby in there then they, they might go after it did you, did you do anything or is it just blank uh it's just an old dvd that that's uh, just i just put a blaze to mark so you don't forget and I think we got something I think we got something this could be your lucky day what's your what's your lucky critter uh, what? what is what did you say is your lucky animal uh, weasel, uh, weasel? Is there a weasel? See, see where that blaze is on the tree yeah wait did you catch a martin go go take a look Let's see if your lucky weasel makes your lucky day. Oh, there's a weasel in there. Look at that it's beauty. A white, it's a white weasel too, that's why I said. White weasels. That's a nice one. First weasel of the year. 
first uh, first catch in a. We just set this two days ago. <laughs>